So, um, I was, I took the, um, I took the, uh, the book, the, um, the grand prize book. Uh, I uploaded it to Instagram because <clears throat> again, my Facebook isn't working. Uh, then after Instagram, sometimes this weird thing happens with Instagram because I know it has some kind of something with Facebook, but I don't know who is claiming to have security clearance for internet and technology, uh, in a governance to protect, uh, me at this point and alphanumeracies being the framework of anything that has light in or out of it. Uh, being hum human an anatomy, it, M Y, it's mine. Uh, I have to protect you, whether I like you or not. Um, and then the source of the light uh, that is some form of a utility, whether it be a light bulb, whether it be a TV screen, a radio on your car dashboard, or wherever you use electricity and so on and so forth. Um, that technology, uh, has, uh, no, um, agreement whatsoever from the extraterrestrials, uh, trying to protect humans and themselves and the planet, uh, with life systems beyond just humans, meaning, um, the animals, uh, that, like, the food that when you kill an animal, I mean, not everybody eats animals, I get that, um, but the, um the soil from being raped of all of its, uh, nitrogen and the min minerals that the milk that you put in that then replenishes it, whatever. All those little, like, nuances that, like, the really smart agricultural people know because they've been doing it for, like, lifetimes and passing it, the information and knowledge down, which now I'm kind of afraid you are starting to lose, uh, on a very big scale because of all these, like, metropolises, yeah, okay, with lights that you don't own, you have no authority to put on, um, these electric, uh, utility companies that charge a fortune to consumers, but you don't own the grid, the supply, you don't know how any of it works. I'm trying to tell you there is a frame outside of your consciousness, uh, like, as if I was a god, just on the off chance that, mm, whatever, um, not like one that you have to worship or pray to or even acknowledge exists, except if you are in very real, like, uh, fields of, uh, danger, which is anything that touches laboratory equipment or a keyboard. Or a calculator, the, that or any kind of communication device. If you could pick something up and communicate with somebody elsewhere, that is a teleportation device, and now your communication is covered under star law in how do the things outside of my human consciousness work to support me and to not harm me in every day that I get up and I go do my daily function of whatever God has provided in my everyday life that I was born to. So, from that perspective, I never understood uh, the few who hide, um, unsuspecting to the rest, um, with the, uh, Library of Congress being a kid's book, Sweet Pickles. Yeah, we're all in a pickle. So, uh, they're not all going to be, like, like, really sweet deals for everybody because it is going to be a real problem because there's a lot of pickles adding up and some of you won't let go of the recipe. Some of you, like, are insistent, No, I got the number! I want, I want, I want! No, you didn't. You bought illegally something that you weren't allowed to have, and the person you bought it from stole it and is not allowed to sell it. Do you understand? The people that own it come from it, created it before your existence in time, space, and history that they own the framework of when they're not looking human and visiting us and explaining to us in vivid detail before, during, and after. I mean, it is like, Jesus fucking Christ, there's so many of you, but yet none of you do anything. 
don't pretend like the community didn't know. Like, we're not going to go with that investment at this point. Really? Because last time I checked that checkbook that you keep saying with the ones and zeros and the venture fund and the capital fund and what I'm funding is my own business and I have a prospectus, I have a license, I have an operating fund. No, you don't. What you have is a skin with a birth date and an anatomical DNA signature that I own in a larger framework. The day that I want you to no longer exist in space and time at any length, whether it be longitude, latitude, plot map, uh, plot map, or anything in between, uh, I am ready to rip you out from your fucking boots and just, like, disintegrate you so we give you an extra special mortician's tag on that one. Like, we never, ever want to acknowledge you existed, nor do we ever want you to be able to rehabilitate yourself in any form. So what we do is we give you an extra special alphanumeracies in extraterrestrial ways, and then we tag it, we delete you out of it, so there's no visage, so you can't re-find yourself again. And then there's a cattle tag that we keep secure with things that don't speak anything that is found on this planet or this framework. Uh, and the git is not working unless it sees my git, and I don't ask those kinds of questions so they know better. So if somebody does ask them, they're locked down. Uh, so that is the framework. Um, all right, so let's see, because while I'm human, why the hell would I want to go do research on dead numbers that we absolutely, like, disintegrated and don't even ever want to open that record, don't need to know what it looked like, it was bad from the beginning, because we don't do that to just anybody. We usually live, leave some kind of living, moving record for humans to do the security as the world turns, right? And the SOAP, S-O-A-P-O-P-E-R-A, -E yeah, for the E-R-A uh, being the eternal, like, uh, anatomical return uh, register, like, unit that keeps uh, the story and the navigation of the story of what humans are creating all around the world, um, straight without lies, um, in a higher format when you are an actual extraterrestrial with handsome hands, um, and looking this visage and coming from an extra special cosmological date, uh, on an iCal that whether it's on or off, it is always the top priority and the only thing that matters and you kill anything that keeps you from off schedule. Um, right, those are the, uh, I mean, it is like, linguistically, where is your head at? Because nothing that doesn't speak my English, anything speaks my English, like, it has to be my mouth. <laughs> I give you direct orders, and I don't want somebody, oh, but I translated it wrong. Now what do I do? Uh, well, why were you translating it, and for who? Because, um, I'm pretty sure that Hitler will have a direct conversation with somebody, if he needs be, and if they don't want to take a meeting with him, it better be Caterusa. Uh, and neither have heard from or about any of you, so I don't know why you'd have somebody translating something for somebody else to add more confusion and Confucius into a timeline that is very strict, and it only concerns two people, and then the rest of humanity, and I thought we had some kind of security force in, like, some military that had, like, more than, I don't know, zero players? Like, zero, like, trained? I mean, I thought I saw some of you going around the planet, like, the newscasters, they caught you on camera. I know you exist. Like, I know you know life outside of you exists. Yeah, I hear you. I've gotten phone calls from you all saying that you know that I exist, but you don't know why that you're calling at the time, why I'm so important, and why everybody else keeps forgetting why I'm so important. Yeah, we've been doing that this whole life. Why is that when uh, the Dukes of Haphazard... The royals that are not royal, that hide in a castle and lineage that doesn't exist in any space and time, they're already tagged that they are never going to appear again. And what they did here, I can look it up while I'm here, but once I leave, it is going to mean absolutely zero. They're not saving anybody. In fact, they're taking down more people, and you will never, ever be able to recall or look up whatever it was that transpired that caused this much dysfunction. Because I don't need to leave a framework to teach people how to be this dysfunctional and this dangerous to one another. In fact, I got other work that I have to do in order to leave you enough food and clothing and structure 
that once my genetic leaves, that you all will be able to fend for yourselves for as long as possible, because you just wasted 41 of the most precious years of fixed time to put you in the right direction from the one person who warned you behind who was the problem. I mean, why can't you fix this? Are these mutual fund idiots in penny loafers and dockers that went to Harvard or Cambridge? I mean, they're really that important to you all. I'm pretty sure the guy from Iowa who picked up a gun and went to off to fight a war that followed orders and was in some kind of, like, timing... Ma like, he was a great guy. He followed orders then. Why is it two generations later, uh, they claim they still have a military? I don't know where. I mean, I haven't seen one in my whole entire life. I mean, I see pictures, and it looks nice. It's like, is this from this lifetime? Because I really haven't seen anyone who fits this description. I mean, I still have photo. They, <laughs> but it could be actors. I mean, I don't know. You could put Brad Pitt in a uniform. I mean, he'd done plenty of movies. Uh, who's to say the chisel jaw that I saw today on the Venezuelan, like, ad campaign? Like, is that real? Because... Uh, I know that I need to be part of these things. It was in my requirement for being on planet. But how you keep running operations and things without acknowledging me, it is getting a little trying in, uh, you're on trial every day you wake up and ignore me. Uh, you've been on trial every day you've woken up and ignored my mom and my grandmother on the last call before God actually gets there in, like, this is, like, really a very serious very serious situation you've all put yourselves in. I mean, you rely on I don't know what to protect you. You have one protector with one male, one female. We can be verified that we don't come from here. We're just passing through. And while we're passing through the terrarium that we like to keep clean and in order, we're trying to help you set up for the next version of you that will be back in some timing mechanism that we need to fix. So this way, the next you is better than this you, because this you really fucking sucks. So, um, um, where are we? Yeah, in that grand prize, it says a raffle for school fund. Really? So, the school fund. S-C-H-O-O-L. Is that how you got pubics in my public school? Is you had a raffle somewhere? For sitting in Miss Arvin's and Miss Harrison's class, Mr. Moore's class. Oh, he was my sixth grade teacher. We did Ulysses. Oh my gosh, I absolutely loved him. Um, he was actually like a real stand up guy. I liked him a lot. Um, don't really remember much of the year, but whatever. Um, so, and oh, and Miss Nizick, right? She was fifth grade. She was a new teacher, very quiet, uh, very reserved. She looked more of like a Catholic school teacher or like a church lady, somehow, like very quiet, demure, but was very. Uh, worried about my situation with the girls from fourth grade who were very loud and obnoxious and literally like were verbally bashing me every day that I went to class and I was in some debate club I didn't expect nor know about nor agree to and then I filled out Illuminati contracts and I don't know they went in an envelope I don't know where they went off to I don't have a copy of them nobody told me it was important enough to know and again it was to verify that my memory kept going and that I was actually there, and that live vid of thin air that God owns in framework from extraterrestrial science, we don't have to explain to lower-grade humans, don't ask me for a favor, don't ask me for uh, access, don't ask me how it works, don't ask me to teach it to you, and don't ask me to keep the children alive that keep breaking in to steal more information that they're not allowed to have. Those are the exact listed people that all need to die immediately. Because they keep promoting this as if this is acceptable. Now you have black male associations. Not like African American or melanin rich. I'm talking like uh, you have where they steal people's sexual private moments and then sell them in extortion schemes for kudo bucks. And then you think like this is acceptable trade? No, they just know that you're not policing the fucking main culprits. So why the fuck not get away with all I can get? Get. Okay, well, that's one schematic that they're up to. I mean, like, really, when you get to, like, this level side, like, I mean, there's really not, like, a well-put-together Aronav force. I thought that was one of the requirements of us allowing humans to live 
in our terrarium at all in any given times. There is a very specific genetic lineage, we did call them gods, uh, some of the people, even my people, who were left in welfare and reprogrammed, like, they knew. I mean, Judy knew. I mean, St my Uncle Stevie, he, like, we had a, like, real uh, hoot of a conversation. He's like, now listen, God. He goes, um, I hear you talking to Aunt Marie, and she says, man, I heard, overheard you, what you said. Now, uh, Grandma's sitting right there. Could you please inform for me? Uh, I, I was always curious. Grandma said that if you're gay, uh, that God hates you. And I'm like... Well, well, first of all, Uncle Stevie, I don't know what this gay is, and I don't know why your mother would tell you God would hate you. So, could you just explain that for me? And he's like, right, how do I explain that? Uh, right, and then my, gran my grandmother sat there, uh, Marie, Mariah from Protestant England, just sat there and kind of chuckled to herself. She goes, God, Stevie, explain it to her. No, because I don't want you to make me out to be the bad guy. And I'm like, well, okay, Uncle Stevie, I said, if it's something... Like, I mean, I'm trying to learn. I've asked you to, like, expand on things so I get, like, a full picture. And then I get words that I can recreate in my own version. But, um, well, kind of like a sponge. But, um, I said, uh, I would go with, uh, maybe your mom is your mom. And she can say whatever she wants. Because that's what my mom does. I can't stop her. Trust me, I tried. Um, and there's no pleasing her either. I've tried that as well. But whatever, that's the cards I was dealt with in this version of, I just want my boyfriend back and to go to sleep and never wake up. Um, okay, so anyway, get back to you, Uncle Stevie, right? Uh, Grandma, I don't know why she said uh, God wouldn't love you, because if Grandma doesn't love you because you're this word that I don't know what it means, uh, I can tell you that I'm God, I'm a God, I don't know if there's more, but I don't hate you for being whatever that word means. I mean, why would I hate you for a word? And my uncle's like, he was like, yeah, I never understood that either. He says, all right. He's like, well, you got my vote on that one. And I'm like, vote? there's a vote? What's a vote? Right. He's like, he's like oh, no, forget it. Right. And he's like, I forgot you were born this way. And I'm like, yeah, I was. Uh, it's not something like you campaign for. I mean, it's like you are born anatomically the same as you were Last time, I know that's hard to conceptualize, but I got a painting. It's called Vermeer. That's a r actual thing in somebody's gallery somewhere. In, like, Sotheby's or Wealth whatever. I don't even get into that, like, middle market area of people who are enjoy things that I'm like, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, I'll get to you, like, maybe never, because, Hank, like, I'm just between the... On the ground, dug into the dirt, where they're just pouring hot molten lava on top of me, and tar, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'll just sit here and wait for the feathers next, I guess, as Goof Off Goose with the Lucky Lotto ticket that we told you in the grand prize. Where's the Enterprise? E-N-T-E-R-P-R-I-Z-E -E committee? Because I know I am the entering prize in the grand lotto schematic for architectures from elsewhere who need certain security help to fix the humanity thing we got going on and the future thing going on from being thwarted and interfered by the past criminals who now had children who are passing along the same criminal behavior and the same criminal excuses sticking to it like glue as if the proof in the pudding and in into the all the publications weren't enough I mean, it, we, we look the same. The looks alone are undeniable. Okay? That's how you know. We also have a very special calendar where the two of us come in one day. Oh my gosh. It's a miracle. Yeah, it is a miracle. The 3 and the 4. Miracle on 34th. Yes, it is. August 3rd, August 4th, on the same day. The timing of the technical calendar that you use on a graph, whatever. So that's how that works. Um, so it's an extra special situation. It's just, you, sorry, but Philip didn't have it. Elizabeth didn't have it. They don't look like me. They never will look like me. They are from a different shitbag breed of uh, genetic completely. Oh, right, but they got some kind of coupon for the school fund 
that somebody in my brandy tree keeps writing them. And now I saw that the World Fund is run by an Asian? Are you fucking kidding me? There's no World Fund, more false advertising. They're not allowed to be world anything. They're country. They don't have nation, they don't have country, they don't, I'm, I'm sorry, they don't have state. Nation, state. Uh, hello, that is run by me. The funding is supposed to be off of the one dollar I was born with, and then we put a bunch of zeros after it, and then we distribute it out the way that we want to do it. Without, like, reservation, without, like, consultation, without, like, requirements from little life forms everywhere claiming, but I have a lineage too. I'm sure you do, but, like, you are just one of 7.5 billion problems, and I have one really big fucking problem I need to fix first so then I can get to the rest of you. But then I've got false advertising everywhere saying, I'm a World Fund representative. We have these spe special, and we publish that we were there on, like, a G5, G8, and then we don't invite Russia, because who wants Big Daddy Russia to protect the little czar in America? Right, yeah, I noticed that, too, you fucking piece of shit. Somebody should execute that person, for sure. Anything that enjoys those meetings? Yeah, boom, 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 good. Oh, look, your first seven contestants on Who Do We Kill First? Great! Do all of the representatives from the G-whatever that never invited me, or Nick Laos, for that matter, and locked Russia out. There's your first seven, since it used to be eight when Russia was friends, but now we're down to seven, and nobody knows what really goes on in that meeting. So all of those seven listed representatives published somewhere, right? Bullet list, that is a quick way. Like, you want target list? Great, start with that one. I won't give you specific names. You can look them up. I'm sure they're on public record. I mean, I deal with sweet pickles, and like, could you fix this before I fucking get there? Clearly, you can't read or write or follow a single fucking directive or direction. I mean, the lineage and the hierarchy and who's in charge of what is very fucking clear. A little confusing to the living, though, since you don't follow it. And you keep sticking up for the very dangerous criminals that keep claiming they're world leaders. No, they're not. They're holding on to a spot. They're hoping they will still be there if they do a good enough job and uh, don't raise the wrong flags, and they're able to kill all of the people within their country spot that keep coming up on, like, global security advisory that, like, we need to get rid of them. So uh, are we disseminating those lists, or did you third-party contract out to non-approved oper operators? Like, who is capturing my framework information of information and technology at like a mastery level which zero that i um unless you're an aeronav and like hitler hired you you have zero clearance classification you have zero access and you don't have like little uh permission to work as a staff member either no you don't because we are like at like i gotta fucking either kill you all or fire you all but i don't know which one's gonna work better because I don't have access to the systems I actually need. So I'm at a, like, you have full license to fucking clear the, the calendar for anything that fucking bothers you if you're like this and this and Hitler hired you in Aronav. You guys go work together, license to kill, free reign, 7.5 billion units, take your fucking pick. And come get me tomorrow because I really am tired of doing this.